Hello and welcome. Want to manage your time well in Excel? You are at the right place. Hi, I am Colonel Yogesh Kalra. This is my fifth video on the time management best-selling book, Make Time. Want to watch the first four videos? Please click on the link at the end of this video. In the last video, we learn about the second pillar of time management. We call it laser. The aim of laser is to remove distractions and help you focus. We also saw as to how we can eliminate the distractions created by mobile phones. In this video, we learn to eliminate the distractions created by two more insidious technologies, that is, infinity pools and TV. So let's start by recapping what infinity pools are. In 1606, Shakespeare wrote this about Macbeth's life. It's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. This is an accurate description of infinity pools of today. Whether it is Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or news apps, infinity pools flood us with endless stream of information 24-7. Only a tiny fraction of this information adds value to our lives, while the rest subtracts both time and value. Let's look at six laser tactics which will help us minimize this constant cacophony that has come to dominate our lives. But before we do that, a humble request from my side. Please subscribe, like and share. It's a new channel, friends. Need your help to make it work. Thank you. So the first tactic to stay out of the infinity pools is don't check the Facebook and news first thing in the morning. Don't carry your phone to the restroom. When you come out of the restroom, your mind will be calm and your digestive system will be clean. I don't know about others, but it has happened to me. I went to the restroom and got so lost in the breaking news that I forgot the original purpose of my visit. Tactic 2. Block your most invasive distraction. For some, it will be Facebook, for some Instagram and for others, it will be online games. Summon all your willpower and delete it from your life. If you can't do that, at least delete it from the phone and make a resolution to use it only on the laptop. Just this one action can do wonders in creating a distraction-free life. Tactic 3. Delete the news apps. It has done me a word of good. By paying just 250 rupees a month for the newspaper, I get to see big pictures of my favorite sports stars and not so favorite politicians every morning. That too in color. With no news apps pulling me towards irrelevant information all day, this one change has removed so much self-inflicted pain from my daily routine. Tactic 4. Clean up your browser in your laptop and PC. There are a few things that you can do here. 1. Hide your bookmarks. If they are on the bookmarks bar right in front of your eyes, you will end up opening them more often than you need to. 2. Have a clear home page and not a collection of websites that you can open with a single click. And 3. At the end of each day, sign out of email and all other accounts. It's like cleaning up the desk before you leave. Signing in again into Amazon to access your shopping cart next day is a pain in the neck. You will do it only if you actually need to shop and not when you want to kill some time. Tactic 5. Turn off the internet when you are doing focused work that does not require internet. If you cannot turn off the internet, turn off Wi-Fi on the laptop and mobile with a commitment to yourself that you will not turn it on before a particular time or before you have finished the task at hand. And finally, tactic six, watch out for time craters. Before I deleted the news apps from the phone, it happened to me all the time. I opened the news app just to look at the headlines. Oh, that will take me just a couple of minutes. But I spent 30 minutes reading about what Deepika Padukone was seen wearing at the airport yesterday and how the starry pair was setting couple goals in Maldives. Why someone has to go to Maldives to set couple goals, I have not figured out. But the fact of the matter is that those couple goals were distracting me from my goals of the day. For everyone, causes of time creators will be different. Facebook, Instagram or online game session, which was to last 5 minutes, but left a 30 minute crater in your schedule. What is worse, such craters have overhead costs. 
when you try to come out of the crater and go back to the highlight, your mind needs time to switch back into the laser mode. These switching costs are unseen, but every bit as real. So watch out for the time craters and arrange your life so that you don't fall into them. The easiest way to do that is to delete the apps which are causing these time craters. So those were the laser tactics for infinity pools. Let's now come to part two and look at the laser tactics to minimize distractions caused by TV. Of course, TV is not as invasive as the infinity pools. You can't take it to the restroom. However, if you are a binge watcher, TV can also become an infinity pool, which can be as addictive as Facebook and Instagram. If you are not a binge watcher, the tactics for TV should be much more straightforward and easier to achieve. And the first tactic is don't watch the news. Like social media, TV news are designed to keep you hooked. With 24-7 breaking news and partisan debates, which degenerate into shouting matches, they create anxiety. Time to get back to the newspaper with the morning cup of tea. Tactic 2. Put the TV in the drawing room. If you want to go a step further, put it not in the center of the room, but in a corner. That way, you will switch it on only when you absolutely need to. And finally, tactic 3. Do you have multiple OTT subscriptions? Try cancelling one or four. I must admit that I have Netflix, Amazon Prime and Hotstar and I was not able to cancel any of them. But at the risk of sounding immodest, I would say that I use them responsibly. One non-negotiable rule which stops me from getting sucked into TV is that I don't watch any series at all. Movies are better, they are finite and they don't have seasons. So by making me watch season one, Netflix is not locking me in for 10 seasons. Great. To conclude, remember that if you wish to remain focused through the day, you will need to do two things. One, don't let yourself drown in the infinity pools. And two, watch TV responsibly. The six laser tactics for staying out of the infinity pools are skip the morning check-in, block your most invasive di distraction, delete the news apps, clean up the web browser, turn off the internet and eliminate time craters. And the three laser tactics for using TV responsibly are don't watch news, move TV from the bedroom to the drawing room and minimize OTT subscriptions. And most important, if possible, say no to series. In the next video, we learn the laser tactics for eliminating distractions created by emails. Apart from that, now that we have removed the causes of distractions, We'll also look at the tactics that will help us maintain focus throughout the day. Until then, take care and be well.